Here are the ingredients needed for the lab. Two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoons of double acting baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of oil, one egg, one cup whole milk, and aerosol cooking spray. So first I went ahead and put all the dry ingredients together. Next you want to blend the egg, milk, and oil. Then you want to go ahead and create a well into the dry ingredients and then pour the liquid into that well. So from the left to the right, I have the muffins with four strokes, 14, 34, and 70. And here are the results after I baked it. Here's the muffin after it's baked. This is the one with four strokes. The exterior is yellow, dark brown, white spots, uneven, rough, floury, and spotty. The interior appearance was spongy, was uneven, soft, moist, and the flavor is bland and floury. Here's the muffin with 14 strokes. The exterior appearance was yellow, dark brown, white spots, uneven, and spotty. The interior appearance was not as spongy. The texture was uneven, soft, and moist, and the flavor was bland and floury. Here's the muffin with 34 strokes. It appeared golden and smooth. The inside had a lot of air pockets. The texture was soft and moist, and the flavor was bland and floury. And last, we have the muffin with 70 strokes. It was evenly golden and smooth. It had even amounts of air pockets in the inside. It was soft and moist and also tasted bland and floury. So here are the ingredients you need. One cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth cup of granulated sugar, four teaspoons of double acting baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup whole milk, an egg, a fourth cup of oil, and aerosol cooking spray. So first I combined the cornmeal, flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt, and I mixed it. And then in a separate bowl, I put the milk, egg, and oil and mixed that. And then I went ahead and I made a well in the dry ingredients and added the wet ingredients into the middle, and I mixed it. So here's the results of the cornbread with sugar. It appeared deeper golden, yellow, raised in the middle. The texture was spongy and soft, and the flavor was sweet but still had a floury taste. Then next I have the cornbread with no sugar. It appeared very yellow, not as much golden color, and it wasn't as raised as the cornbread with sugar. The texture was soft and spongy. And then the flavor was bland, but it had more cornbread flavor than a flowery taste.